Xerto is flexible enough to support a variety of architectures and deployment models. Let's look at one possible architecture and see how it might assist with recovery of files or folders that have been encrypted by ransomware. In this scenario, we're using Continuous Data Protection, or CDP, to replicate locally. This replication is always on and doesn't require scheduling, snapshots, backup windows, or any disruption to the applications running in production. Every data change on a virtual machine is tracked and saved to checkpoints in a user-defined journal. Those checkpoints are made as fast as possible and typically happen every 5 to 15 seconds. When the predefined journal history is reached, whether that's 5 days or 30 days, the changes are pushed to replicas. To complement these local copies of the data, this architecture also supports sending additional copies to an off-site, immutable repository running in the cloud or also on-premises. Its immutable nature means no one can edit or remove this data, so it's a safeguard against inadvertent or malicious tampering with copies. Scenario 1 covers a small-scale infection, using the same process administrators use on a regular basis to restore files from accidental deletion or corruption. Zerto can mount a recovery volume using any journal checkpoint, then restore files and folders directly back to their source location. Alternately, the files can be downloaded to a clean room for further analysis and inspection before being placed back into production. The process is nearly instant and doesn't require agents. And since this is a data copy that's only seconds or minutes in the past, the data loss is significantly less than reverting to a nightly backup copy. To summarize, recovery in Scenario 1 utilizes instant restores from the journal for both files and folders. They can be restored directly to their source or downloaded via a browser. Since it's journal-based, the copy that's being restored can be seconds prior to an infection. And lastly, since Zerto uses continuous data protection at the hypervisor level, no agents and no snapshots are required to achieve this.